So Google Assistant can be found on many devices like phones, tablets, even Chromebooks. What if I told you you could get Google Assistant on your PC or Mac? You came to the right place. I'll show you how to install Google Assistant on Windows 11 or 10 or Mac OS. And even the hot words work like Google. So without further ado, let me show you how to get it installed and running on your PC or Mac. Alright guys, to get started with installation of Google Assistant on your Windows 10, you need to go to this website, console.actions.google.com. The link will be in the description and you will see this page. Make sure you're logged into your Google account. Let's go. New project. I agree to turn service. Enter a name for the project. I'm going to call it GA for Windows. And set the language in the region, doesn't matter what you choose. Alright, on this screen we'll scroll down to see this option, are you looking for device registration? I'll click that. Yeah. By the way, if you're using any sort of ad blocking software, you might want to turn it off. All you're going to do is click on register model. I'm going to call it Asus Tough because that's the model of my laptop. It doesn't have to be the name of your laptop or phone. It could be anything, so I'm just going to do that. Manufacturer name, call it the easy way. Device type, I'm going to leave it on camera, that's fine. Click on register model, download your OAuth certificate. All right, now the downloaded file, we will save it in a place where we can find it. I can just cut it, go to my C drive, create a new folder called GA, drop it here, so I can easily find it later when I need it. Now we need to go to console.cloud.google.com to continue the process. Because I selected the US earlier for the language, I'm going to do that here as well. Now all we need to do is click on select a project. Now we have GA for Windows here. Open that. Now we need to go to APIs and services. And then we need to enter Google Assistant. Google Assistant API, select that, click on enable, so credentials here, we select that, and then select configure consent screen, Stop here, we need to select external for the user type, and then hit create. User support email, you can set it to whichever one you inserted earlier, it doesn't matter. Now we need to find developer contact information here, enter the same email here again, that is fine. Save and continue. We don't need to worry about this page. Save and continue. Save and continue. Now, after clicking on back to dashboard, we'll go add users and then enter my own email address again. This is the third time you have entered it. Is it saved? Okay, there you go. It's saved. Now, the hard part is over. All we need to do is go to this link here. I'll leave it in the description. This is an app developed by Melvin Abraham and it's the unofficial Google Assistant for Windows. So we'll just download the Windows version. Scroll down until you see the .exe. Click on that. If you're on a Mac, the previous procedure is exactly the same. Instead, you download DMG. If you're on Linux, you download the deb file, etc. Or whatever. You could install it for yourself. Just gonna hit next, I'm gonna run assistant. There you go, amazing UI. We need to get started, proceed. Now to use this Google Assistant, you must complete the device registration process, download the OAuth 2 credentials. Okay, now this is where we point to this file that we downloaded earlier. Just click on here, key path file, C drive, this is where we saved it, GA, and then everything else you can enable here, hey Google, whatever. Automatically set a path. Relaunch required. All right. The previous JSON file, if it doesn't work, all you need to do is just go to web client, download this JSON file instead. Now, launch assistant, Windows Shift A. Open settings. Select that, save, relaunch. Boom. Green light. Now we just log into your Google account. Continue. And now, when you allow access, blah blah blah, just hit continue. 
So when you do this, you might see this page, don't panic. All we need is this code here. So when you copy this code here, make sure you don't copy the end. Just still before the end. Copy that. Open a systems. Paste it. Submit. Relaunch required. Token saved. We have a winner. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Google Assistant is now installed. It can do a lot of things. I don't think it can open apps. Let me try it. I can also tweak the settings here, by the way. I can do whatever. The hot word. Force new conversation. Audio output for typed queries. You can turn it on and off. Enable microphone on immediate response. Enable microphone on app startup. Yes, I would need that. Start is minimized. Enable auto scaling, escape key behavior, do nothing. You can have it minimized. And there's flute, resolution, border. So you can have it with a blue border. You can select your input output devices. So your microphone and your speaker source. You can even change the hotkey. First launch the app, then toggle the microphone. I guess we can call it close window. Open voice meter banana. Okay, so you can't open apps. Remind me to go for a bike ride at 4.30 a.m. to tomorrow. I don't know what happened there. Alright, so I muted my Google Nest so we can test the hot word detection. Let's try that. Hey Google. How far is Toronto from New York? New York is 471 miles away from Toronto. That's not very far. Totally bikeable. Show me cycling directions from Toronto to New York. Alright, the best way to get from Toronto to New York by bike is via Erie Canal Heritage Trail and will take about two days and two hours. I've sent the directions to your phone. How tall is Roger Federer? Roger Federer is 1.85 meters tall. You can even resize the window, look at that. And when the system's off like that, it's still active in system tray, you can see here. And you can still activate it using the hot word, hey Google. This is amazing. I'm happy, you're happy. <laughs> and there you have it folks, that's how you get Google Assistant almost fully functioning on your PC with nice UI. Thanks to this third party developer. I'll leave all the links that are relevant down in the description below so you can easily find them. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to give it a try yourself. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Also check out my other videos right up here. Also smash that like button if this video helped you in any way, shape or form. Consider subscribing and dinging the notification bell just down there. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.